Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Columbus, Ohio with Cult News. Yeah, that guy. And he almost gets, well, taken out in this video. Because, well, when you stand in front of a uh, medical marijuana dispensary for 45 minutes and just stand there and film, you're a bound to get some people irate with you, and I do believe that's what he was looking for, and he may have bitten off more than he can chew. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, you can yeah. stop that. I, I you can stop that. I'm standing on a public sidewalk. I, I absolutely will. public sidewalk, bro. Stop recording fucking people. It's awkward as shit and you're weird. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that standing on a sidewalk for 45 minutes filming a medical marijuana dispensary is a bit odd. And why would you want to be doing that to begin with? I mean, the only thing you can get out of it is... Uh, reactions, clicks and views and everything like that and well uh, the potential for some injury maybe you decided to go the JC News Now r route and uh, see if somebody would actually strike you and uh, you'd get some uh, go away money or something like that well JC News Now didn't it didn't work out for him in fact that case is never going to go through weirdo bro gotcha well, now I'm recording people that are uh, fuck. accosting me on the sidewalk, for God's sakes. Talk about weirdos. It's crazy. Okay, so let me get this straight. You stood outside the dispensary for 45 minutes straight uh, looking for a reaction, and when you did get that reaction by somebody confronting you, uh, you decided to do the intelligent thing and follow him to his car to get his license plate number. And that's when he decided to jump the curb and attempt to, well, unalive you. I mean, uh, dude, it seems like this is all your fault. But I'm not th I'm not cutting him any slack either. I mean, that's something he shouldn't done have done either. He should have just, well, drove away and not did anything about it. Because you know what? You're uh, a little moron anyway. And, well, there's not much he could have done to take you down. Run me over? Fuck you. Well, dude, uh, I'm not going to condone his actions at all because, well, that was unnecessary. But uh, it's understandable considering how much of a jackass you acted like toward him. I mean, you did stand outside of that dispensary for quite a long time, acting like a damn stalker, and uh, you ended up getting, well, nearly unalived as a result of that. Yeah, I would say it all comes down 
to your actions because actions have consequences and you took the wrong actions and it all just snowballed from there. That other guy, he did he didn't shouldn't have taken that action at all. In fact, he's probably going to get into some deep trouble over that, more so than the guy that hit JC News now. But we shall see where that goes. Hopefully, he'll keep us updated on the progress of this investigation. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.